What's your necklace? It's uh, it's Archangel Michael. He fucks the devil up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did tell <laughs> me that. Are you Catholic? Is that Catholic? Oh, I guess no, no. I just did ayahuasca and felt the devil in my booty hole, so I started <laughs> buying Archangel Michael. Did you really? <laughs> did you really do ayahuasca? Sixteen times. Sixteen times? Yeah, one six. Sixteen. When was the most recent? Uh, like last weekend. Where are you doing it? This one was a little crazy. I did it in South Central Los Angeles. No, Angela. no. <laughs> in someone's like garage? No, like a warehouse. Yeah, in a warehouse. Yeah. Did you throw up and shit yourself? You don't poop your pants. Everyone thinks that. I did throw up a little bit, but not that much. I was, you can, it's weird to say this, but like you really co create with it. And after the last time, mm -hmm. so when I bought this thing, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. I said, take it easy, heal me gently and sweetly, you know. And were you healed gently and sweetly? Uh, Yeah, I, I purged a little bit and it wasn't that bad. But the time before I was like fucking exorcist. Like, it was crazy. Really? Yeah. How long? What, which trip was the most impactful? Um, It's kind of like the onion analogy. Layers? Yeah. You, because it, uh, it heals you. It gives you what you need. It's kind of like the, what's that, the Matrix, the Oracle? Yeah. Like in the beginning, it was beautiful and sweet and gentle. And then I kept going. I kept going deeper and deeper. And then it was like, oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah. Did you get into any past life stuff? No, I learned some stuff about this life that I didn't know about. What? Oh, man. Yeah. Is it crazy? Yeah. I can't tell all of it, but let's just say I was diddled. You were? Yeah. And the ayahuasca opened you up to that? Yeah, it kept popping up. Was it blocked mm -hmm. in your consciousness before that? Yeah. That's fucking crazy, dude. It really is. And then I started asking some family questions and then they Confirmed. had answers. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And I was like, that's why I was a drug addict. That's why I always have a knife. That's why I was, I'm scared. I'm like, back up. And I'm crazy and a little feisty. Everything makes sense. Did you get any um, downloads on being a dad, like from doing ayahuasca? Uh, I, actually, not yet. I, other than just like he's a healthy, sweet boy. It was just, um, it wasn't too profound other than just like, oh, Marlo. You know, yeah. that's his yeah. name. Um, but it's also new. So I'll go back and ask for that. I imagine it'll get deeper as he grows up, you know. That's crazy. But he came a few times, but it wasn't. It was just like subtle. Like glimpses of him? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. That's like, cool. Just it was all happy. That's cool. Yeah. Damn. Did you go with anyone you knew or just by yourself? I went by myself my first time. But then you go and then you end up seeing people you know there. Oh, you got, you have like an ayahuasca crew now? I could name some people because I think they're public about it. But I can't name all of them. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I don't think he cares. I think he talked about it publicly. Amir K, I went with him. How uh, was his trip? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some other fools, but I, I don't think they want to be named, so I'll leave yeah. them anonymous. I want to join the comedians. Neil Brennan is quite public about it. He, he talks about it a lot. Yeah, he talks about it a lot I haven't done it podcast. with him yet, but I would love to do it with him. Yeah. Yeah. He's Ron funny. White's the one who got me to do it. He talked about it on your mom's house and Rogan. Yeah, Ron White um, got sober from doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Once I heard a 50-year-old, I mean, a 50-year alcoholic got sober, I was like, oh, that shit works. Yeah. And I just jumped all in. And then, like, how did you feel? How do you feel, like, the next day after doing it? Do you feel like you're yourself again? You're kind of again? exposed, like, a raw nerve, and you're sensitive, and I wouldn't go to the comedy store or Walmart or anything. <laughs> I would go to nature. Go uh, straight to Walmart after doing <laughs> ayahuasca, blue light specials. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard because you learn bad shit. You're not going to exactly be happy about it. You know, you kind of, I remember coming back and like taking out some aggression towards family, just being a dick. Yeah. You know, and then be like, why am I so angry? Because you fucking found out some pretty gnarly shit, you know, you're only human, but you, uh, you're better for it in the end. It's kind of like those analogies to get to heaven. You got to go through hell. You yeah. Know? I give a shitty analogy, but this is for people who don't understand what it is. It's kind of like a deep tissue massage, you know, when they're digging and in it hurts. and it's hell and it hurts and you're like, ah, yeah. and then they pop it and then you're free. Yeah. It's like that for trauma and emotional baggage. Yeah. It gets rid of it. 
because now I'm not triggered and I could talk about it. Like earlier on, if we were to talk about this, I would just cry. Yeah. Know? And now it's fine. 